Morning boys and girls, you're in my back garden. It's a lovely morning, so I thought I would do a little object message for you out in the garden. You'll notice I'm wearing my safety gloves. You've probably seen a lot of people wearing these. A really good idea. It keeps your hands safe and it stops spreading germs. And I've been thinking about gloves. And I want to share a little object uh, lesson with you about gloves today. I'm gonna to pop these one off and I'm going to show you some gloves and I want you to think about them and what we have to say. Now the first glove that I have boys and girls I want you to take a very close look at. I'm going to pop it on. Now some of you older boys and girls already will know what type of glove this is. It's all round and soft, pretty colourful, lots of lace on it to keep it securely on your hand. For the little ones who don't know, this is a boxing glove. And I hope that while you're indoors with your parents and your brothers and sisters, that you don't need boxing gloves and then you'll get on with each other throughout these few weeks of difficulty. Let's have another little look. I have here another glove. I'm gonna pop it on. Now, boys and girls, up until last week, you may have never seen your dad wearing a glove like this. But perhaps this week, hopefully, he's really helping out and he has a glove like this on. Boys and girls, this glove, if you don't know and haven't guessed, it's a washing up glove. It's there to protect your hands in the hot water as you're washing up all your dishes. Let's pop that one off and let's have a look at another one. Here's another one. You might recognize this one. Another very special glove, not too clean. But this is, have you got it? It's a gardening glove. That's right. And you would wear this glove outside, doing your garden, looking after your flower beds. That's another glove. One last one, and this is one of my favorites. I love to see my wife wearing these gloves because I know when she puts on these gloves that I am in for a treat. And here we have got our, have you got it? oven gloves big thick padded oven gloves and i know that whenever my wife puts these on the oven's going to be opened there might be some lovely buns or a lovely roast ready for us to eat it's hot and you need to have the oven gloves on now boys and girls all these gloves that i have shown you today they are all completely different none of them are the same and those gloves remind me of you and me we are like these gloves. We are all completely different. We all have strengths. We all have different things we're good at, just as these gloves have purpose of themselves. Now, the one thing about these gloves is this. There's something missing. You see, I could put these lovely washing up gloves beside all the dirty dishes, and they'll not do one dish. I could put the gardening glove beside the flower bed it'll not begin to work. It'll do nothing, it'll just lie there. You see, boys and girls, what these gloves all need is this. They need to have hands inside them. And you see, boys and girls, you and I are like the gloves and the hands inside are the influences, the controls in our lives. And boys and girls, here's the thing. You will be influenced and controlled in one of two ways. Today, you will either have God in control of your life. He will put his hand into your heart and life and he will control you. He has promised to give his spirit to those who love him, who are saved, who are ready for heaven. You know, boys and girls, the Bible very often speaks about the good hand of God. In the book of Ezra, the book of Nehemiah, the strong hand of God, the good hand of God. And I wonder today, is that the influence that you have? Do you have God guiding and influencing you are you saved? Because the, other, the alternative, boys and girls, is not very good. The alternative is very simply this. The Bible makes it very clear. If we don't belong to the Lord, then we belong to the devil. And he has the influence over us. We are the glove. And our sin and our desires and the influence of the devil has a stronghold over us. 
then our lives will be shipwrecked, a disaster full of sin, and we'll be lost. Oh, today, that you would have the influencing hand of God upon you. You will have him dwelling within you, using you for his glory. So there we have it, gloves. Make sure you have your gloves on today.